everybody, it's Paige Evans and I have a new process video to share with you today. It's a short and sweet one featuring the Missy Widden Color Kits, the September edition from Shimmers. So I'm going to get started by applying white gesso across a white smooth 12 by 12 cardstock background. So I just splotched a dab there in the middle and I'm using a wet paintbrush to apply it all over the background and then I'm going to come in with these colors. So I'm using Well Blew Me Down colorings followed by First Blush Inklings and then I decided to use the packaging technique to spread it around and then adding water to the Good As Gold Inklings, splashing it and again using the packaging technique to get more color onto the page and the fourth color is Pinko de Mayo shimmers. So again, just add water to it and then you can use it kind of like paint or watercolors. Your favorite way to use mixed media. Go ahead and add it to your background and I'm kind of doing it in quadrants. So dividing it into four sections and adding the colors to those four sections. So I'm just adding the colors coming in with even more, splashing it around spraying water on top to make them blend together. And these dry and they are super shimmery and shiny, hence they're called shimmers. So it's a really pretty background. So I designed this exclusive floral ampersand cut file to go along with this kit. Missy always has great suggestions for cut files. And then I'm going to use my Truly Grateful collection with Pink Paisley to add tons of flowers on top. So I have this little baggie full of fussy cut flowers and then I'm coming in with a brand new set of the floral and leaf die cuts and on this ampersand there are flowers and leaves so I'm just going to go ahead and add flowers and leaves right on top. And I'm liking the way this is looking so I'm going to add a few more of the more intricate leaf die cuts here and there and a photo of my daughter Jane tucked here into the top right side. There's a fine line between too many and not enough flowers and I never know what it is. So I just keep adding until I like the way it looks. Then I'm going to use this liquid adhesive by American Crafts to adhere everything down. And I only add a little dab underneath so that the edges of the petals and the leaves and the flowers can bend up and create lots of dimension and shadows so that this layout isn't perfectly flat. There's a lot of interest going on. Tucking the photo back in and I'll use some double-sided tape to adhere the photo right there. So then there are a trio of dots in this kit and I love the colors. One says love, another says today, and the other has an ampersand on it. So I'm moving them around trying to figure out the best placement where I like them. And once I decide on the placement, I will use the liquid adhesive again to attach them in place permanently. Took me a minute to figure out exactly where I wanted them, so I decided on this placement. And to balance out that teal ampersand, I added that blue flower right in there. For the journaling, I always write the lines and words with a pencil first, although I didn't need to write the words with a pencil, I liked the placement right here. So I'm using a blue pen to write my journaling, and the blue matches and enhances the other blue tones in this layout. So that's it, quick and easy. This came together in 30 minutes, which is a miracle for me, with the help of the Missy Widden Shimmers September kit and cut file. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again soon.